Hi, I'm here with my last writing video of my writing week. So, in this video I thought I'd just give you some tips for writing. These are just some tips that I've picked up as a writer throughout the years and I just thought I'd share them with you. But first, one of the best pieces of writing advice I've ever found is actually a poem and it was written by Ron Cor Cortage and it's called Do You Have Any Advice for Those of Us Just Starting Out? Give up sitting dutifully at your desk. Leave your house or apartment. Go out into the world. It's alright to carry a notebook, but a cheap one is best, with pages the color of a weak tea, and on the front a kitten or a spaceship. Avoid any enclosed spaces where more than three people are wearing turtlenecks. Beware any snow-covered chalet with deer tracks across the muffled tennis courts. Not surprisingly, libraries are a good place to write. And the perfect place in a library is near an aisle where a child a year or two old is playing as his mother browses the ranks of the dead. Often he will pull books from the bottom shelf. The title, the author's name, the brooding photo on the flat mean nothing. Red book on black, gray book on brown, he builds a tower. And the higher it gets, the wider he grins. You who ask for advice, listen. When the tower falls, be like that child. Laugh so loud, everybody in the world frowns and says, shh, and start again. Okay, so I've broken my tips into four sections. First of all, how to start writing. Secondly, how to outline. Third, how to actually write. And fourth, how to edit. So firstly, how to get start writing. Uh, the way I find works for me is that I schedule time to write and I treat it like a job. Um, if you want to be a published author you have to start acting like one. Um, for example, I pay myself. I allot myself a certain amount of spending money um, for each hour that I spend writing. So I feel like it's actually something you know, worthwhile that I'm being paid to do, which is eventually what, you know, I think most writers want. The second part is how to outline. Now, I think outlines are very, very important if you're writing something longer than a short story. You really have to know where your story is going and how you're going to get your characters from point A to point B. I recommend that you write the numbers from 1 to 20 on a sheet of paper and start filling in events. So generally, like, you know th how the story is going to begin. You know the trouble, the main climax that's going to happen. And then you start filling in what's going to happen in order to get from the beginning of the story to the climax to the end. And that really gives you an idea of what you need to write and where you're going so you don't get stumped as to what's going to happen next. Now you don't have to stick with the outline, it can change as you're writing. Um, even when you're done writing, you can go back and change your outline again anyways. Third part, uh, how to actually just write. is I find the biggest mistake I made when I first started writing was that I'd always wait for inspiration. And it sometimes would come, you know, daily, and sometimes it would come you know, once a week or once a month or something, and I was very, very slow. So I, th I just started writing, even if I wasn't inspired. You just got to get something down on paper, and you can always go back and change it later. So you know, even if it d you don't feel like it's good, at least you're moving the story forward. And when you get inspired, you can go back and you can change it. You can edit it. Um. So you just gotta write, just write, keep writing, then write some more, because if you want to write something good, you have to write a lot of bad in between. Um, I also think write even if it's not related to what you're doing. 
Um, so a rant, a journal entry, why you want to write, why your story is important. Write a poem or the beginning of a new story. Just get those creative juices flowing. And lastly, how to edit. I said this in my last video, writing is 25% writing and 75% editing. It is very, very important to edit. And I'm not talking about grammar and spelling. Grammar and spelling don't matter when you're trying to get ideas down on a piece of paper. So I think firstly you need to read your story out loud because you know what you're expecting to see um, because you wrote it but when you read it aloud you go oh that doesn't sound right and you gotta take things out. Um, people might jump on me for this but you'll notice um, in Harry Potter how the books kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I really had a problem with uh, the last Harry Potter book because there's just so much unnecessary um, scenes in there and that's because JK Rowling had the rights she had the rights to editing her book whereas before with the first three Harry Potter books it was just her writing and then giving it over to an editor and they were the ones taking out all the unnecessary scenes so even if you think it's necessary it may not be so I'd say give it to another person and see what they think um, you know sometimes what you think is really important isn't necessarily you know what needs to be there so you really have to be merciless in your editing process because once you release a story it's no longer yours it's the readers and they don't know the characters like you know them they don't know the story like you know them so what you need to put on the paper is just what they need to know and you don't want to bore them with all this unnecessary information that doesn't add to characterization or plot and all that other stuff that we enjoy in books Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my writing week. If you have any writing tips, please feel free to share them. I'm always looking for new ideas in regards to writing and all that. And remember to keep on writing. What was I going to say again? <laughs>